Hi again. All right, so this time around, we will be creating a drawing inspired by Catherine Bernhardt. Super fun, super colorful, uh, still lifes that she'll make of different objects that she sees. Um, I loved that video so much. I especially love how Catherine Bernhardt invites kids and students to create artwork with her and that she uses such bright colors and has so much fun experimenting with different ways of seeing objects to make her work look creative and fun, right? Um, which is what we want to do today. We're gonna be creative and you could use realistic colors for your objects. For example, a yellow banana, because bananas are yellow in real life. Or, for example, Catherine Bernhardt made watermelons that were yellow or orange. So if you wanted, you could choose a different color. If you would rather make your bananas pink, you could try and, you know, create a pattern as well, like polka dots on your objects. I'm going to show you all how to go ahead and get started. I used the same tools for this project that I used for the other ones. So obviously paper, right? And then a pencil and then a permanent marker to trace my drawing. So I drew in pencil first, then traced my lines with my permanent marker. And then to add my, my colors, I added color pencil. But if you don't have color pencil, you could use markers or crayons, whatever you have available. You could even paint if you want to, because she, Catherine Bernhardt is a painter after all. Um, so you could feel free to use paints for this project if you would like. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all how to get started. for my uh, Doritos and for my sock. I'm going to make my Doritos a little bit smaller so they fit, and I'm gonna have to draw my sock in the background, sort of behind. If you see here, I put my bird in front of my banana. Um, you could also just go ahead and draw your objects all on top of each other, right, like so, right? And then just take your eraser that you have and just go ahead and erase your lines once you've drawn your other object on top too. created shadows by adding darker green around all of my objects in my drawing just to show depth right like we were doing before with objects laid on top of each other to show some objects up front and some further behind you could push that further by adding shadows using your colored pencils or crayons markers whatever you're using right or even with your pencil too you could shade and add little shadows underneath all of your objects right and if you're not as interested in some of the objects on the handout, you could look around at 
uh, objects that you have at home and use them for this project as well, right? Because Catherine Bernhardt liked to draw from experience and draw from her own objects that she saw in life. Maybe you would prefer drawing a sentimental object, whether it's, I don't know, a special plushie that you have or a toy, or maybe it's like your favorite food, right? Um, so I hope that all of you had a great time and I'll see you soon.